guys, it's Krista, Texas Gypsy Style. How are y'all doing today? <laughs> Welcome back to Painting Furniture. It's the new year, so I'm excited to get back in here and get busy. Today I am working on this china cabinet and I'm going hello hey. I'm live um, I'm I'm uh, live I'm what's up right. what's I'm up talk, I'll talk to you about it after okay uh, I'll talk to you about it after the, the meeting okay I'm sorry <laughs> alright bye okay that was my husband <laughs> Um, I'm going to be doing this display cabinet and I've got, it's not going to be a very long, um, live, but I figured if I was going to start painting or continue painting on it, I'll just have you guys paint with me. So I've got my... My cheeks are red. <laughs> I had some chili for lunch and I put some jalapenos in <laughs> so. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm gonna be using this Helen brush and um, thank you guys for joining me. It's about a little after lunchtime over here. And um, I just wanted to work on this. You know, you got to fit it in to all the things that are happening and <laughs> meetings and schedules. Um, but I want to try to use this di display cabinet for myself at, um, at my new shop over at the Lazy Daisy. And that's here in Yorktown, which is where we live also. So, um, I went in there around October. I became a daydream apothecary, um, clay and chalk artisan paint stockist shortly thereafter. And I, I need some more cabinet space. <laughs> And I want to, you know, use my space to the best of its ability. You know, you're paying rent and all that good stuff. So, um, I think this one will be a little bit not so deep. And um, it'll be cute also. So, let's have some fun with it. And I'm going to get in here. I'll just move this forward. I got Amos. Amos is over here taking a siesta also. But it's been a while since I have done one of these, so this will be good. It'll be good and it'll be fun, right? I just kind of did this coat on here last night. My color is hibiscus, and this is from the Coastal um, Color Collection. That's Llewellyn's line. Warren, her, her business is Warren to Whimsy. Awesome, we have some noise going on in the background now. They're building a brand new house next door. <laughs> So, sorry about that. I guess I should have just left my music on and painted in silence. <laughs> anyway, um, I hadn't 
used this color yet and I had a really sweet lady who I saw over the holidays in the shop. She said she was looking for something um, to paint her dining room table and chairs and she was thinking about maybe this color but I didn't have anything painted in it. This is coat number two, and this piece of furniture is not like, it's not like a high dollar piece of furniture. Um, it's your basic china hutch. It's um, not real wood. It's laminate. I don't know what, I forget what that stuff's called, laminate or something. Um, but as you can see, this paint is going over it just fine. All I did was clean it really good with um, some ice simple green. And that was it. And wiped it down, let it dry. Hey, Kimberly. I hope you had a good Christmas and a happy new year. I gotta look into that um, that paper on my picture. I was so excited because I got to go home for Christmas and take my son and my husband and uh, we all went. And then we all had to drive back because we were on one of those Southwest Airline flights that got canceled. So, yeah, we were in South, South Texas, um, close to Corpus Christi, visiting my dad, and um, so it was, oh gosh, we traveled like quite a ways, like, it, I don't know, it was probably like over 20 hours. We flew into Houston because where all of my family lives, it's like we make the drive down south and hit up all of our, all the family. Um, and my, like my hometown, sorry, I'm, I gotta make sure that, <laughs> good gracious, that's loud. Um, anyway, I got, uh, we visited my family, um, one of my aunts lives in Pearland, which we got with her on the way out when we were leaving, and my other aunt lives in my hometown, El Campo, where I'm from, and um, so we stopped there, 
and saw my gra my grandparents, some of my grandparents, and then we went to uh, Referio, which is close to Corpus, Corpus Christi, and then we, we, we stayed there, but we went and visited my Nani. Okay. Oh, you know, I would get pink on my pants. Yes, so he got to get on Papa Craig's tractor, which he's been wanting to do that forever. And, um... He got to, my dad said that he started shredding the field like he's been doing it forever, <laughs> which does not surprise me at all. He was in his element. Waylon's, uh, he's six years old, <laughs> going on, like, acts like he's an old man sometimes. <laughs> He's so funny. He spends a lot of time with his poppy, my husband's dad. He goes to hunt club and all that good stuff. So he is uh, all about, he really loves monster trucks, like, and um, remote control cars. That's his, that's his thing. I, I really, so I really love um, vintage Christmas stuff, like just the really old and kind of corny stuff, kitschy, and um, I was putting up all my Christmas stuff, and I said, you know, as I said, you know how you love your monster trucks like that much i was like well that's how much mommy loves vintage christmas <laughs> he was like um <laughs> yeah so i've actually been trying to put all that away Christmas and a good trip home. should have done that before I painted but you know what what's the fun in, in doing it you know in the in the right order so <laughs> Another color 
with this or maybe I don't know I might do um, like a Texas gypsy style with this kind of look but um, I haven't decided I haven't decided if I'm going to do like a backdrop um, I don't want it to be too busy since I'm putting my paint in there but I don't know yeah, maybe, maybe I will so let's see what I'm feeling and what I can come up with. And I actually have glass that goes in between these two pieces. So as of right now, it has glass shelves for the most part. And there is lighting in it. So, but if I do extra shelves, I guess I could try to do some glass shelves. I took the doors off of this piece and busted out the sides so I could make it bit, you know, like more open. Because those weren't doors. And to do something like that, all you got to do is get out like, you know, a crowbar or <laughs> and a hammer and you just want to make sure you don't break the frame that you need if there is one. This is covering really good. That is good. This is your first time watching um, on my channel or my page. Um, I've actually done my fair share of china cabinets. I just haven't done one in a little while. So, if y'all have any questions about, you know, what get started on one um, I can definitely point you in the right direction you just gotta really get in there <laughs> and I you know it's best to take the backing off for usually that way you can get a really good um, paint job on there. Otherwise, you'll have lots of obstacles. For sure. And this one actually comes in two pieces. I have the base of it um, somewhere over there. So it's better, it's easier to handle when you have 
a two-piece cabinet. All right, what time is it? 126. Just a real basic tutorial <laughs> as far as just getting the paint on there. You gotta do that first. This brush actually works really good. I, sh I used a different kind of brush um, to do the first coat, and I'm actually thinking I should have used this one because um, it's a lot easier. <laughs> it, it's just, I think it holds more paint, and it's, it's just covering a lot better. It goes on really smooth too. The brush can definitely make a huge difference in your in your painting. So I'm just going to keep going over uh, this. I wanted to show you guys what hibiscus looked like. Ooh, let me get the, there it is. So hibiscus, Daydream Apothecary, um, the Helen brush, and new project, display cabinet, china cabinet makeover, transformation. Um, stay tuned. So we'll see what I come up with next for this piece. And I'm hoping that it gets um, done really fast so I can get it in the shop and put some paint on it. So thank you all for joining and I will talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>